Hi guys, it's Crystal, the founder of Bold Culture Beauty, a two-time award-winning blog and your first stop when you're looking to simplify your hair care routine. So over the past few weeks, I've been getting several questions about how I get my hairstyles to last for several days. The misconception is that I am retwisting or restyling my hair on a daily basis. As a mother of two and a burgeoning business owner, I just don't have time for that. And neither do you. Whether your hair is long or short, you should not be continuously manipulating your hair in order to get your styles to last longer. What you're actually doing is recreating that style every time you retwist or restyle your hair. If hair care is supposed to be easier and more accessible, then we should really evaluate our practices and start determining where we're falling short. So today, I'm sharing simple steps that you can use to help simplify your hair care routine and get longevity out of your style. So grab a friend and grab a pen and let's figure out how we can make our styles last. Okay, so before we get started, you should consider a few things. You should first know some specifics about your hair. Knowing the key characteristics of your hair will help you set realistic expectations and also allow you to be intentional when it comes to selecting products. You should also consider that your climate, your lifestyle, your product selection, your, and your styling techniques all make a big difference when it comes to the longevity of your styles. And then finally, this is a process that requires consistency and persistence. Building a routine, consistently maintaining that routine, taking any notes of missteps and fixing them will all make a big difference in the long run. And I know that this may sound like a lot, but trust me, once you start, it becomes second nature. So now that we've got that out of the way, let's get right to it. So first things first, you have to start with a clean canvas when it comes to styling your hair. Routinely cleansing the scalp and the hair strands will not only increase the hydration and moisture levels of your hair, but it will also help to remove that buildup that often hinders our hairstyles. Starting with a clean skin canvas will allow our hair to better react to products and also help us be more effective when it comes to styling our hair. The next thing you should do is consider using products that have hold. So stylers are products that we use to help create our hairstyle, and they usually have a level of hold that ranges from light to firm. Products like leave-in conditioners, oils, moisturizers, and shea butter are not stylers. While these ingredients can be found in some of the stylers that you use, their benefit is usually only aesthetic and they do not have a level of hold required to help you maintain your styles. So knowing the characteristics of your hair like density, surface texture, and texture will actually help you determine what products and what level of hold is necessary to help you maintain your styles. And then as a general rule, lighter hold gels usually have less curl definition and longevity when used on more coarse hairstyles. Another thing that I like to do is layer my gels. Your environment, lifestyle, and environmental exposure all come into play where the longevity of your styles is concerned. Under certain conditions, one gel alone might not have the level of hold required to keep your curls popping. Layering your gels is a great option when it comes to elongating your curls and increasing the longevity of your styles. When applied appropriately, layered gels can help protect against excessively humid or dry conditions, sweat, and environmental exposure. And I know you're probably thinking that layered gels will cause your hair to be excessively hard or crunchy, but with the right products, layered gels will give you a beautifully manageable style. Another thing you should consider is leaving your gel cast intact. I know with wash and goes on day one, we often crave that big voluminous hair. And breaking your gel cast will often give your curls the volume in life that you desire. But instead of breaking that gel cast, consider leaving the gel cast intact and allowing your hair to gradually swell and disrupt the gel cast as the days progress. 
The result will still be a beautiful style and the added bonus of curl definition that lasts longer. And then finally, you have to employ a technique to preserve your curls overnight. So I know there's been a lot of debate on what techniques are most effective. Be it a bonnet, a satin cap, pineapple in your hair, or a silk pillow, you just need to find a technique that works for you. Make sure you're mindful of the materials that you're using and how those materials rub against your hair. You wanna make sure that you're not using anything that removes the moisture or damages your hair strand. But ultimately, the length of your hair will help you determine what product might be right for you. And then as a bonus tip, sleek curls do not last forever. You have to learn to be comfortable with the frizz. Learn to enjoy your hair as it begins to frizz and swell and rock it. So all of these tips sound simple enough, right? I think so. There's no retwisting or restyling of the hair necessary. All you do is get up, take off your hair cover, shake, and go on with the rest of your day. Stop allowing your hair to monopolize your days. Take back your time by finding simple practices that you can incorporate into your hair care routine that work. Our hair care routines are only as complicated as we make them. So stop doing the most and allow your curls to live. Well, y'all, that is all that I have for you today. For more information on how to simplify your hair care routine and healthy hair practices that you can incorporate into your hair care routine, make sure you visit us at boldculture.com. And while you're there, grab a copy of my latest ebook, Simple Steps for Healthy Natural Hair Care, which will allow you to set that solid foundation and be more intentional when incorporating practices and products into your hair care routine. And as always, thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next week, go boldly.